All right, lads, that's the end of StarCraft uh, Remastered plus the co-op uh, map or mod. It's more of a map set. It's not really a mod, but everyone understands terminology of mods, so that's why I figured I'd do that. So uh, I guess the, I guess we'll do our, like, our two-part credits thing, which is one about the mods and one about the StarCraft Remastered. Uh, which one do you want to start with? Let's start with the mods. Okay, so the, the co-op mod is something... That I've been holding on to for a while, because uh, for some reason I wasn't satisfied with my StarCraft LP that I originally did, because I basically, I think at some point I started talking about some stupid shit because my internet went down. Like, it was like basically like nobody was coming in and shit, and I, I, start, I said some really stupid shit, because I, I was just angry at the time, because I was like, I basically what I did was I just recorded a bunch of parts for StarCraft 1 when I did single player. Uh, and I was like really upset, and I was like, uh, I'm like, oh, you know, maybe I should redo it with uh, with Can sometime because I, I heard about the co-op mods. I've been actually holding onto this for a while, and then when we remastered, actually, you, you mentioned this like a long, long time ago to me. Yeah, and I said like, this has been in the works. Yeah, I said that we'd do it at some point, and then when we, lo when I loaded up uh, the StarCraft remaster for the first time, I, d I posted a couple parts. I'm like, I'm like, wow, I'm really bored of this because like I'm like I've done this before. So it's not to say that my my original StarCraft One run wasn't wasn't good. It actually was really good, and I and I'm more more in like the first like ten parts or something, uh, because I talked a lot about my history with this game and and StarCraft.net, which is a website I made. Uh, so, I mean, if you want to have some more insight into in my experience with this game, uh, I would definitely go watch that uh, at some point if if you'd like. Because uh, as I said, I, I talk I, I I this is more of like a co-op or having fun two player kind of thing. That that one is more of like a uh, uh, when I did the single player on my own, I talked more about me and my own experiences with the game. So yeah. So what do you think of the co-op mod? I think the co-op was like pretty good overall. Like a couple of missions, yeah. Like you had the whole like I don't know, like where there's like uh, bugs and stuff. But overall, like a lot of mi I think the majority of missions kind of surprised you of how difficult they actually were. Yeah. I know that the the devs are probably here watching, and they probably want to know what we thought. Generally, overall, pro like any kind of little small issues aside, some of the missions, like whatever kind of issues they had, this is an improvement over the vanilla campaign. Like all of it, it's all an improvement. I mean, everything's better with co-op number one, and the effort was clearly there for a lot of the missions. Uh, but there are bugs. There are bugs in there. So, which was, uh, as I said, I. I I, I thought some of them were kind of obvious that like you, you would catch, but but some of them are are I kind of like just slipped through it. And I kind of I said I, I've been around in the map editor a lot, so I, I I experimented and I was also tried a couple of things. I'm like I wonder if this will work, and no. Yeah, so some some of it's some pretty good, well made. I would say overall, like there's been like I think like three or four missions in this entire game and in, entire co-op mod or map or set or whatever that really stood out and that were really good like the last Terran campaign like oh, like I just want to start like the start like the Terran mission 3 in the original Starcraft campaign that was like a, such a good wake up call of like all right room for yeah. some shit yeah 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 I, I, as a, it, it was hit and miss um, I mean they didn't do really much to the Zerg campaign stuff the one I think the biggest problem of this entire campaign was the fact they kept unloading bunkers to basically um, attack us whenever we face turn basically every time we kind of went to go mop things up they, they would basically be empty bunkers every single time and uh, I'll, I'll say this from like a sort of like a suggestion slash whatever standpoint I, so I know what you can do in the map and stuff like that so the problem is you guys have to understand so when you give the AI um, the the on the non campaign so they have campaign AI scripts and then they have like uh, generic multiplayer uh, AI scripts and so for the most part, they I noticed that they switched over to the multiplayer uh, AI scripts, and that made them more aggressive, attack more, made them more interesting, rather than them just waiting for you to kill them. But they regard the Marines and shit in the bunkers and the tanks and the units they start with, they regard it as units that they can use to attack you, because they have them already, so they use them in the attacks. That's why you sometimes saw, you know, like, like they, they send everything at us, and there was a couple missions where they had nothing left. Like we, we went in with like uh, our whatever our victory fleet attack force, whatever it is. But we're like, oh wow, it's actually really easy. Because I've noticed that this is a, a recurring theme. It's like, oh, you spend the first, you know, uh, you spend the first tw uh, 10, 20 minutes dealing with these massive attacks. And you're like, oh wow, the AI is really building a lot and really doing great stuff. But what they're actually doing is they're just using the pre-placed units on the map. And they're killing you. And then they're just sending smaller waves after that because they don't actually have those units anymore because you've killed them already. So the best play that they should have, like, sorry, the best thing that they should have actually done for this is they actually should have um, made another 
uh, computer player gave all the just the units on the map to that computer player with no AI. And then they would have just sat there until you came in and killed them, and then it would have seemed like a lot better. Um, but they, they didn't do that, unfortunately. And another really interesting, because I know some people were complaining about the, the colors, um, uh, like of uh, whatever my ally is and whatever uh, the computer is sometimes. What you can actually do is there's actually a, a color editor. Uh, you can change the colors for um, the uh, any any player slot in the game. So, like, technically speaking, we could have both been, like, red or both been white or something, although that probably would have been a bad idea. But at least it, you could have used some, like, non-canon colors to, like, you know, because they have, like, black and some weird colors, too, that you can actually set for that. And that's also what they could have done for the computer that had, like, the, the stationary units with the bunkers and stuff. They could have made that look red, as well as, like, the normal AI being red kind of thing. They could have made them share, the computers share the color. So that, like, you know, they have the bunkers there and they don't unload them and they're actually there kind of thing. So kind of kind of weird stuff that they could have done, but yeah. That's that's my feedback for this. As I said, it could be... It is really good, but it it could be a bit better. Like, a, like I would do some different things there, so... Um, and yeah, especially with, like, the, the canon of the, uh, the second player, the co-op player, I guess that might be worth changing as well because you wouldn't want to have me and Canada as like the same like you and your co-op partner as your as the same color because then it's hard to tell what units are whose so at least use yeah. something else i mean i can't really give the kind of feedback that mike does because he actually took it with an app editor i did not but just in terms of pure gameplay like, like i said like it i felt like overall it was generally well done but yeah there's like the problems with the empty bunkers and the uh you know, dialogue just, not playing yeah so some other stuff yeah but just like it's like just, just by the way, to plug a thing we did earlier in another, like, way back when, like, Red Alert 3. Like, I can't, I just love the concept of co-op RTS. Like, it just, that's so much fun to me. Yeah, they, they, uh, there's a couple that we should probably try at some point, but. Uh, and speaking of, if you want more of this, uh, we did Red Alert 3. If you want more co-op RTS, we did, yeah. we did that. That one's really old, though. And also, like, you can't also play that in co-op anymore. Not without, like, doing something stupid. Oh, uh, you can, it. actually. No, but like you don't get like the cutscenes and shit. The cutscenes are amazing. In that game. I think you do. I'm pretty sure you get the cutscenes. I last time I checked, you don't. You get like it just. Well, it's, it's kind of it's kind of neat to bring up in, it's kind of neat to bring up an LP, but I did play it with uh, Catalyst like a while back now. Okay. This was like after the big change, isn't it? It had all the cutscenes. Yeah. But I, I'm just saying overall, like our criticisms aside, we actually really like the 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 co-op. Uh, mod that the guys did. They did it. They did it. They did a pretty good job. As I said, there's a, there's a couple of problems there, and I and I hope they are like watching and then they maybe address some of them because I think they would be really good to uh, address and make improve this even more. Because as I said, now Starcraft Remastered is out. I, I assume that there's gonna be a lot more people uh, maybe playing their co-op mod and things like that. Uh, so I I appreciate the hard work because that's literally like they they did like how many missions? We did like 60 missions or something. That's a fuck ton of time to spend on this. Like, I I never expected it to be perfect because that's a lot of maps to go through, uh, to basically adapt them, to be co-op and stuff. So, uh, but you know, I, I, if if all things aside, like you, ignore all my other suggestions and just kind of fix the bugs up of like double like hero units and maybe some of the AI scripts and stuff, and that's it. You know. And then, and then it's, it's, as I said, I just, I thought of this entire thing as a general improvement over the vanilla game. The vanilla game was kind of boring to play, replay, you know, like even 20 years later, just because it's like, oh, I played it many times. Yeah, I think I just, uh, one thing I do want to comment is more about StarCraft in general and more just like the channel in general. Well, that's what I was going to say. Do you want to, do you want to move on to that? Are we done with the Well, I guess this can segue into that, but just, I remember so many years ago when I was just a fucking nobody on the channel, I was just someone who watched watch your videos. I was like, I, I, I remember watching your Starcraft stuff. I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and lo and behold, now here I am fucking co oping it with you. A part of it, yeah. Uh, it's uh, you, you, It could be you too, uh, uh, YouTube <laughs> chat. Mm -hmm. YouTube chat. YouTube overseers. YouTube overseers, yeah. Um, no, I, I know. I know it was. It was. It, it's been one of my favorite games. I'm very glad to. I, I, yeah, getting into the room. Okay, we're we're not talking about the co-op campaign anymore. We liked it. It was it was great. Uh, now getting to Starcraft Remastered. So this is where some of the uh, intri intricacies may come in, uh, in my opinion. So uh, so Kant has obviously seen. This, this is all your opinion, right? Because I I have not played Remastered. Oh yeah yeah yeah. 
Well, I mean, you get a general. Okay, yeah, I'll just. I, I guess I'll go with my opinion. I guess. Um, so the po there's positives and negatives. So, um, so as for StarCraft Remastered in total, so the direction they went in with making the base game free to play was a good idea, but they should have gone all the way. I don't. I don't know why Remastered is fifteen dollars. It makes no fucking sense, like to cash in on on something. It's so minute because they. I mean, they made the high res textures. They made the uh, well, sorry, the high res sprites or whatever. They made like some some nice things. They add the like I, I saw the camp. I've seen all the campaign story stuff already, um, and it's like it's it's neat, but it's like it's it's a nice like icing on top. Like it, like if I felt like this was Valve or something, they would add that to like the game and just give it out for free and not even care. With Blizzard, I think they could have done the kind of like the medium road where it's like. I mean, this is one of those games where you can have a free-to-play model. I mean, they, they went one step in that direction already. They have the Command Center pre-order bonus, where my Command Center is slightly shinier. Um, I don't think... I mean, if they were already going that direction as is, they, they could have gone all the way, released it all for free, and just had, like, oh, here's a couple of units that, you know, you can you can do something... Like, add some extra features in there that maybe are, like, behind, like, a... Uh, a one-time paywall or something. I don't fucking know. Uh, no, not a one-time paywall. Like like a free-to-play kind of thing. I don't fucking know, man. But it's like, I just, I, I do feel like, um, I, I do feel like the $15 thing, it's just it's such an antiquated business model, especially for a game like this, that they're remastering. It makes no sense. Like, I, I honestly feel like everybody should have gotten the, because they, they didn't change enough. That's the thing. And my other disappointment is that the campaign is barely different at all. In fact, that there's no, there's none of that um, resurrection for the, the, the. This would have been like the perfect opportunity to add like, the, the, the StarCraft um, N64 missions and things because they're apparently canon, but like, I, like who's gonna buy an N64 at this point to fucking go play that? Like nobody. So, uh, and they have the missions available for download somewhere, but uh, I can't find the original co-op version. I actually looked for it to maybe do uh, append as a part of this one. That we were doing because they made a call version of that uh, where you rescue Stukov or whatever. But yeah, nobody nobody has made. Uh, well, someone made it and then like I couldn't find it, so I was like, oh okay, well whatever. I, I, it's like all the download links are gone, so that's that's kind of rip. But they could have added that in, like it could have been a part of that. You know, maybe gotten some of the people together, even if they're the new people, to voice the dialogue for it, you know, as well. Um, and some of those like sub campaigns that were canon would have been kind of cool, but they kind of didn't. It's the same package just with like high. Like, by the way, I didn't notice any difference with the remastered version of any of the dialogue. Um, by the uh, sorry, just for anyone who's who's wondering. So when you are, whenever you saw the briefings in in this LP, those were the remastered versions. The dialogue that's in the actual campaign missions themselves was not remastered. So can you tell the difference? Did did you go like, oh, that one's higher quality? No, I I can't tell the difference. That's why I kind of didn't care, but it's just whatever. So overall, I'd say. Uh, remastered was overall a disappointment uh, because I just feel it was like it's once again every time I buy a Blizzard game it's like I always feel like you're getting slightly less than what, what you paid for it's not like good value necessarily um, you know it's just like Starcraft's already free and then they added that stuff oh and the fucking they I, they've introduced a whole bunch of bugs and annoying DRM things because now like every time I every time you start Starcraft it's like checking to make sure that you own the game and fucking it does something when you quit the game where it's like uploading to the cloud and bow.net does something where everything's like null all the time when you load interfaces like you, you can can actually relate to that yeah like a lot of the times we, we spend like like a good like five ten minutes just trying to connect to bow.net or just get just to get the bloody um lobby browser working I mean, the lobby browser was pretty fucking awful in in the original game too but like they didn't improve that at all and I, I know I know this isn't exactly faithful to the game, but there's like a lot of things they could have improved, like the the AI and pathing and stuff like that. Like I know I know people would have gone fucking ballistic, I guess if if and that's the reason I'm guessing they didn't do it. They didn't want to change any of the pathing or AI because you know people would go ballistic and they'd be like, oh fuck you, you ruined the game. Like it's like the whole balance is upon the fact that things are difficult to control and things like that. But it's like I don't know. I I personally I don't know if I would have minded it so much. And that could have been a remastered version itself, not this like fucking weird HD skin shit or whatever that they have right now. You know, that I can press F5 at any point to switch between them. There we go. Actually, there's no there's no F5ing in this in this menu apparently. 
in the credits. What, in the remastered credits? Bullshit. Yeah, there's, there's, there's no, you can't go to the original credits, you just get to see the new people. I don't know if this shit's looping, actually, I don't, I don't even know. But anyways, um... Yeah, so, I mean, I just... I, I feel like there's so much potential wasted on StarCraft Remastered here, as I said, because I think I think making it free to play would have really revitalized uh, a lot of the community. A lot of things. I mean, who says that this isn't revitalizing the community right now? But I think it would have been even more so, because like after playing like uh, game models like Path of Exile and Dota 2 and things like that, um, and like the actual free to play model where it's like just cosmetic shit, I'm like, oh, this is like really good. Like this is like. Cause then, like, you don't have any like weird shit where, like, oh, like, like with me and Cand right now, Cand can't, Cand is playing with me, but Cand is playing the vanilla ver version in in terms of like mm -hmm. nothing HD, and I don't see the reason why like he should do that. Like, it's just fi it's fifteen bucks for honestly not that much. It's uh, I mean, sure it looks prettier, but you know, it's I don't think it's worth five fifteen bucks. Yeah, wasn't wasn't there even a few times where it was actually detrimental to you, like it was uh, screwing you over a bit? Uh, Maybe you had some problems that were like remastered specific. I think there was a time where like some units weren't visible because of the way the UI is, or something. I don't I don't remember. I yeah, mean, actually, there's something. Yeah, but like I I I mean I mean you can see them on the map or something. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, there's also the fact that the the options kept resetting as well. Oh yeah, they they fixed that though. That was a, actually a problem when the game was released, but they did fix that in the middle sometime. Uh, but that's a problem for you too. It was it wasn't just a problem for me. I know, I know. I'm just I'm remarking. No, I'm saying like it, it was just a bug in the engine that they introduced because I think they're saving the settings to the cloud now and things like that. So the cloud. Yeah, to the overseers, you know, to the great oh, yeah. overseers in the sky. So. Overall, as I said, it's just, it's, I don't know why, it's just a wasted potential, I would say. Because um, they could have added some extra stuff for the missions and, like, just released it all for free and then done, like, a, like a cosmetic free-to-play model kind of thing. As I don't think anyone, at this point, like, they did it anyway, so I don't think anyone would have truly minded, especially if, like, they were getting the HD stuff for free. And maybe it would have, like, shown that they actually care a little bit more about the game, but I don't know. I don't know. They didn't do they didn't do enough like homages to to it. They just as I say they did the bare minimum of updating everything, and I think they went under this like this guise of an excuse of like if we change anything else, everyone's gonna be mad at us, and so they changed nothing else. But I I, I think that they maybe could have changed more. Um and and I don't know you know what honestly maybe it's better they didn't on the on one hand because like Blizzard Blizzard's development and games for me at least have not been the best as of late. Um, so, you know, but it's more of their story writing and stuff, but who knows, who knows at this point what they would have done or what they could have done uh, the damage is done or whatever already. I don't know. Would you want to see them like remaster like Warcraft 2 or Star? uh, sorry, Warcraft 2 or uh, Warcraft 3 or something? I, I, I wouldn't lie because it, it has crossed my mind. Cause like, I remember, um, one thing I did around the time you started doing Warcraft 2 stuff and yes, I Warcraft Two. I meant I'm talking Warcraft Two, everyone. Oh God! I uh, loaded, I booted up Warcraft Three, and I was like, "Well, isn't it?" Like, I looked around. I was like, "It's actually like a, a map pack that was. It's all the Warcraft Two ma maps. Like everything's been tooled to be Warcraft Two, but in Warcraft Three, I was like, oh, 'I'll give this a go.'" Mm. And that was pretty close, honestly. I mean, I, I was also saying at the end of Warcraft Two, I'm like, I wouldn't mind if they did like a a remake of it, like. You just kind of like because the technology I get it was limited at the time, and so you can reimagine all these missions into a new engine and shit. You know, I mean that would be cool with me. I would I would do I would like that. You know, you have your own like you kind of expand on the storyline or something. You know, and and that's even if it's Blizzard shitty story writing, I'm like kind of liked Warcraft too. I'm like if they kind of modernize that, I went to my I wouldn't mind that at all. Because um, I played that game and it's just like yeah, Archer catapult all the way, but. <laughs> I, I would like to see them kind of revisit some games like that. So they, they said they would not remaster War, uh, Starca uh, sorry, Warcraft 2. They said it was too old and not very fun for modern times. And I just said to myself, because this is their insistence on like... Make we, it fun then. Yeah, we they're like, we can't change, like, we're not allowed to change it. Like, the fuck? No, just like, you know, you start with the, the rough story. You just use kind of, I guess, the Starcraft engine. 
you port all the units over and then you make a story like a story that's based upon you know whatever and you just have new characters and stuff or whatever i mean as i said no one's gonna i don't, I don't think anyone's really gonna complain about that i mean it's just warcraft 2 <laughs> Like I, I doubt most people have even played it all the way through. I didn't even play it all the way through. Now, Warcraft One remastered. That's what I want to see. That would be something. I'll tell you. They should do like a like a Warcraft One and Two remastered or something. Like and just have like one engine. Just like as I said, just they can they can make it its own RTS. I would actually be fine with that. But then again, everyone would be like, oh, what, where's Warcraft Four or something? You know, and they get bad. So maybe they would. Warcraft get Four would be a clusterfuck nowadays. <laughs> Yeah, uh, who the f I don't. I don't even know what happens in World of Warcraft. So fuck it. Who knows? There would be too many factions or too little factions. Put it that way. Too little factions. Oh well. As I just, I, I would like to see them do something else on top of this. So I don't know. Anyways, that's that's all the f the opinions nah, I have. But, on this. but before before you go though, before we wrap this up. The question on everyone's mind: When's Warcraft Three continuing? <laughs> you know, I was gonna, I was gonna say something about that. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, I, uh, so uh, for anyone watching before, I was doing a Warcraft uh, Three run, uh, and I I finished the human campaign, but then we went right into Starcraft Remastered after I did human campaign, and some people got kind of upset because they're like, "Man, I was just getting into you doing Warcraft Three because Warcraft Three is on the, one of these games I have, I haven't actually played a whole lot." And so I kind of paused it to go into StarCraft, because StarCraft is something I, I'm into and understand a lot more. Well, I, I, it's not to say I wasn't enjoying WarCraft 3, I really was, but I didn't want to do two Blizzard uh, RTSs back to back, because I'm like, yeah, no, people are just going to fucking get, like, because I'm going to yeah. get sick of it. I'm going to get burned out of it. Not to <laughs> no, mention. Not back to back, but uh, <laughs> to start at the same middle, time. <laughs> did you? Yeah, it, it just. Know, I'm like, it's too much RTSs. I like, I think I should just commit to doing like one genre of a game at a time, and that's it. And I'm kind of glad I did, because like the some some of the stuff in this uh, Starcraft game was it was it was tough. I definitely, if I did the Terran mission around some difficult part in the fucking Warcraft three, if I was doing like both at the same time, I would have you know, fucking burned out so hard, because that was like that was yeah, that was interesting. So. Um, uh, I will. I, it's go, it's coming up next. Like pretty much, not like maybe right away, but like yeah, I'm gonna start resuming it immediately because we're me and Ken are doing Divinity right now. And by the way, thank you to Ken because he uh, he's he sucked it up this week and he's like because uh, we really want to start Divinity Original Sin too, and that is now going on as well as Starcraft Co-op. I usually don't. Yeah, I just Ken. I have to make the sacrifice. You know, I I gotta play video games. Appar apparently, like some other people have been bugging Ken. They're like, why are you never free? And it's like because he's a like, cause I'm being a shit stand, I'm basically occupying all his time. So, uh, so and yeah, so thanks, Ken, for uh, for doing both at the same time with me. But which is something no, we don't pleasure. do often. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I but, would not be here if I was not having fun. It was, it was fun. It was very fun. But yeah, Warcraft Except three. Except for the turn and mission. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm I kidding. Liked, I liked the challenge. It was fun. No, I, I was having fun too. Just I had to focus. We got to focus. Uh, sometimes you got to focus. Got to be in the zone. Anyways, uh, yeah. So Warcraft Three is coming somewhat in the next, like maybe tomorrow or day after or something. I don't know. It depends how I feel when, when all the rest of this comes up. But I'll make sure I'm good and ready to start. Coming out Valve time. Coming out Valve time. <laughs> uh, but yeah. That, so it's canceled. There's no. Yeah. There's no. <laughs> There's no, there's no gaps. Uh, I'm just going straight into Warcraft Three and stuff. So, continuing the Blizzard campaigns and yeah, we're obviously we're doing Divinity now. So, uh, but anyways, yeah, that's it for that. So, thank you very much for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed it as much as we did because we liked it a lot. So, yeah, thank you everyone for watching, and uh, I guess see you in Divinity. Probably already ongoing, yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Tortured roar. Torch. <laughs> Shit! Damn it.